copy written in all my decisions. This is not supposed to be a way of living. Turn my temple down into a place. Spending the rest of the for you to call me. You're the only one I want by my side when I fall asleep. Tell me what hey, Got a little nigga a dear man. Hey. Over packing the trunk of the mailman. Scoop it a jug for 10 bands. This trap ain't. I said enough. I'm a football now. These niggas never go. When you're in quarantine and your nails look like this. Thank goodness I found the missing piece and I have gorilla glue. It's all fixed as good as new. Made so you backed him. I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, bougie, ratchet. Yeah. how to flatten and reshape your acrylic brush with a flat iron and make sure it's clean first make sure your acrylic brush does not have any acrylic inside and dip it in some monomer like that now you want to use your flat iron and flatten the brush don't use too much pressure you can re dip it in some acrylic liquid if there's still some more flyaways and re flat -iron. And this is the finished result after I used the flat iron to reshape my brush. I use this method for all my brushes and I never have any issues and I use my flat iron on low heat. Red aspen nails. Just pick one out and pop them on. Add glue and you're all set. So shut your mouth and run me like a river. Shut your mouth, baby, spend and deliver. Ladies, stop scrolling.
scrolling right now about to change your life. So I saw this hack on TikTok on how to remove dip nails in under five minutes and <gasps> gosh guys, it worked. So I'm gonna show you really quick. All right, so all you need is 100% pure acetone, a bowl of warm water, not too hot, but warm, a paper towel and a Ziploc bag. Put the paper towel in your Ziploc like so, and then just fill the bottom with acetone. Oh, that's probably enough. Then you just put your hands in here, your nails, and put them in the warm water for three to four minutes. Quick time check. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. I do rub like this a little bit, but guys, are you kidding me? Look at this. It's gone. Time check, four minutes. Oh my gosh. Guys, I am shook. Wow. Till you smile over your shoulder For a minute I was so cold sober I pulled you closer to my town Then you asked me to stay over I said I already told you I think that you should get some rest And I knew I loved you then I should never know Cause I played it cool when I was scared So fine, but her breath is like She says she wanna dance, but she don't know how to I'm iced out, ooh, looking like a star Her name is Jenny, ooh, bitch don't have no panties I'm Steph Curry, when I hit the three, I hit the guys i know i look absolutely crazy right now so just please forgive me i mean it's we're all quarantining like none of us have brushed our hair but basically i just wanted to show you guys a little trick that i've been doing to have my nails dry super fast when i paint them with regular polish so today i painted them with se's um style center which is like this fun red color and then i use this top coat which is se speed setter and let that sit for maybe like two to three minutes then i went out into the kitchen took pam or i'm sure any other cooking spray would work sprayed my nails ran them immediately under cold water and now literally my nails are dry and will not chip it's amazing for anyone that has zero patience when like they're waiting for their nails to dry you need to try this oh my god i finally got this in the mail can i make my nails longer Hmm, let's see if it works. I'm out of form, guys. I swear I'm not farting. It's this audio. Okay. Oh my god, I feel like eating it. That's not me. It looks like bubble gum. Yum, yum. Don't touch your skin with it. Nope, keep it on the nail bag. Keep on saying thank you, thank you, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. I think this works. That is so fetch. I love it. Hey 
guys, so I want to share another tip for you guys with doing nails and creating like different textures and stuff like that. If you have a loofah in your house, these things cost like about a dollar. You can get them in all so many different colors, but this is a color that I have. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and cut it. You want to cut it, cut a piece off like I have right here. You can buy these at Nail Supply and they're probably going to cost you quite a bit. But if you have a loofah, this thing costs like about a dollar and you can get these anywhere. So what you want to do is just cut a piece off, put a little bit of acrylic, let it dry just a tad bit and bam, you can create like a mermaid's tail. You can create, there's so many different textures because you can stretch it out if you like. You can stretch it this way. So you're going to get different types of textures. So uh, yeah, you're welcome. So it's time to remove them. And I'm going to show you guys how to remove with some floss. So I'm gonna start flipping it in on the side. And see how it's going through with this. Start separating your nails um, from the acrylic on the sides. That way it'll be easier to um, push the uh, floss right through. All right, thanks, Tammy. Oh, wait, hold on. This one here is a little bit crooked. See that? No, honey, that your finger do like that. That's funny, because my finger didn't do like that before I came in here. It's okay, honey, don't worry. I fix it for you, don't worry. Hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. It does help support us, and let's know what videos you guys want to see.